And there's this story out there right now about this company called Sweet Baby Inc., which is, you know, not a good name, if you ask me. Sweet Baby Inc. is a, a, a diversity company. They write diversity narratives for big video games. Um, Gotham Knights is one. Uh, Ragnarok, God of War Ragnarok is another one. Uh, Suicide Squad's another one. So they're doing all these games and they're writing for them. And it's heavily, you know, leaning on diversity and diversity nar- driven narratives. And they're saying, no, no, that's not what we do. I wanted to bring up their website. I mean, maybe a better th- way to start is to, to show you what what I wrote over here about what they said. They, they, they wouldn't respond to me, of course. Sweet Baby Inc. doesn't want to respond um, to actual people who want to talk to them. It's just you, everybody's mean, right? In my opinion. So they did talk to Kotaku, who, um, of course, is going to be very friendly to them. The author was, you know over the moon it seems to to talk about how great they're doing but by the interview they gave with a kotaku you would think that they didn't 99 percent of what they did wouldn't be diversity that's the way they frame it and their their ceo miss belair i forget her first name we can scroll up we can do a good control f In West Philadelphia, born and raised, Kim Belair. Okay. Now we're going to start with what she said. Sweet Baby is at its core a narrative development company. That means anything from script writing to narrative design to narrative direction to story reviews. One of the things that we do offer is cultural consultations or authentic authenticity consultations. For us, that generally means we might be asked to look at a story if there's a character in it who is marginalized in a certain way. And the studio wants us to connect them with a consultant who can bring a little bit of authenticity. But the perspective is never that we're coming in and injecting diversity. So that's the that's the first part she says. Um, and you know through the through the speak here, if we're going in and doing authenticity consultations or cultural consultations, that's injecting diversity. We all know it. Co-founder David Bedard also said. Making something more representative and more joyful for a marginalized person in a video game is not a zero-sum game. It doesn't make anything worse for the male character in the game, for the white character in the game. The fact that you have to mention, we promise you, there will be nothing that happens to the male char- the white male character in the game. That huge red flag, right? Bel Air, the, the other co-founder, defended her work as more than adding pride flags to the Spider-Man game, which they apparently did. People can't imagine them. we might do anything else but DEI. They can't imagine that we're just talented writers, that we're talented narrative designers, and that people are hiring us because we tell good stories, because we collaborate well, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, it, that sounds like a company that says, hey, we don't really do diversity all that much. If somebody says, hey, can you look at our diversity, we kind of you know, uh, uh, send it out to another person to consult on their race, I guess. So if you were to take that... And, and hear that for the first time, you would say, well, maybe people are overblowing it. Maybe people are saying what they do, and they're exaggerating it to make things seem worse. But this Kim Bel Air woman, this is not exactly her first foray into talking about how much diversity is. So if you take that interview and you position it next to everything else they've said and everything they say on their own website, it's pretty much you You have to assume that they're trying to pull the wool over your eyes at least a little bit. This is a reference to an article that Kim Belair did with Marketplace in 2021, and we can bring that up just to show you what the article is. But I summarized a bunch of what she said. She told Marketplace in 2021 that the company was created as a place for women marginalized identities and those who don't have a place. She even noted in 2020 that the goal of the company was to make the industry a better and safer place. Does that sound like a person who's just, you know, very little of what we're doing is diversity and we, and we can find that I was just starting to see that there weren't a lot of ways forward, especially for women, especially for marginalized, marginalized identity. It's the company sweet baby Inc started simply as a way for myself, my two colleagues to kind of work in the industry together. And they talk about sexism and toxic behavior in the video game industry. And you're kind of like, Hmm, this does sound like a lot more of what you're being accused of doing. So we can jump over to their website. Sweet Baby Inc. Very weird looking website. This is their cursor. It's a green dot. 
but this is their homepage right at the beginning about us. Founded in 2018, narrative development and consultation. So they already said that narrative development and consultation was or consultation wasn't a main part of what they do. It's right there. Our mission is to tell better, more empathetic stories while diversifying and enriching the video games industry. We aim to make more, uh, make games more fun, engaging, more meaningful, and more inclusive for everyone. So half of their about us on their homepage is about diversity. More empathetic stories about diversity, making things more inclusive. And I just noticed the eyeballs move with where your cursor is. That's fun, though. Services. Okay, maybe they're getting away from it now. One of their four pillars is representation. Okay. Sweet. We believe you need diverse voices to solve diverse problems. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like you're doing a lot of diversity here. Sweet Baby Eek provides narrative consultation at any stage of development, development, boasting a talented team with vetted industry experience. So at any stage of your development, they're going to add diversity to it. Diverse voices to solve diverse problems. Okay. Maybe two out of two is too many for you. Oh, here we go. They they provide outreach and resources. New and marginalized talent. Okay. <laughs> and we can keep going. There's some of their, their titles. Alan Wake, God of War, Spider-Man 2. Let's get in touch, they say. And, you know, if we go to the outreach, we can see that new and marginalized talent can change this industry if given the proper support. So... You know, every single page they have is about diversity, and they say it's not the main thing that they're about. Sweet Baby Inc. is an inclusion-focused narrative and consultation company. We're building a team in a process in hopes of building a kinder, more sustainable in uh, industry at every scale. We begin with an all-hands review and discussion of the project material. Everybody at Sweet Baby Inc. sees your project and shares their thoughts, feelings, and ideas. We do this because it kicks the project off with a multitude of perspectives beginning the conversation that ensures the work is richer and more resonant before, even before it's, uh, sorry, even before it's put to paper. So this is the first thing on their website that doesn't have anything to do with diversity. I think this is, looks like the same as their homepage, consultations, diverse voices, writing, cinematics, dialogue, excitement, emotion. Narrative, whatever your story needs, we tackle narrative and character development and authenticity. Um, so, as you can see, representation. We did. We don't want to miss this one. We believe that representation is key to connecting players and audiences. As we offer a few ways to help your team and protect your team and project gain the perspective needed to make it happen. We're part of an inclusive and knowledgeable community of diverse consultants able to cover a wide range of cultural and sensitivity topics. Our approach leads with the creation of joy in marginalized players. Blah, 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 blah. So how high can we say the percentages here that they focus on diversity? 60, 85% maybe within that range. That's more than half of what they talk about. And, you know, people started to get tired of it. Tired of it. You're trying to play Spider-Man 2. You're trying to play Alan Wake 2, I guess. You're trying to play God of War and mash the buttons until your thumb bleeds. You're trying to play all these games, Suicide Squad, maybe you like that for some reason. And you're starting to notice that a lot of these games have diversity rammed into it, right? And you're just like, this is kind of, this kind of sucks. I, I, I'm familiar with, you know, movies and artists and stuff, and I kind of can avoid it there. But this is all these different genres of games, excuse me, and they have all this in it. So somebody decided to say, hey, I'm just going to label which games are made by Sweet Baby Inc. And somebody did that. And and they created a page called Sweet Baby Inc. Detected on Steam. Now, it started off with like 20-something thousand followers when I first started reading about this. It's now at 282,000. And this is what they do. They just put not recommended. There's only 16 games. They put not recommended, a bunch of games, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Gotham Knights, you know, it's not a very big list. And if you're thinking, okay, well, then there must be something more to it. Or they must be giving this this terrible, you know, rendition of these people are evil, go cancel them. But they're not. And they can, and you can see here, Sweet Baby Inc. involved, proof on closing credits. And they just give you the link. And we can go to the link. And we can see. And we can see 
through the cool music that Sweet Baby Ink and two writers are right there. So that's all they're doing. That's literally all they're doing. And you can kind of see that on their, their page. It just says Sweet Baby Ink involved. Proof here. Sweet Baby Ink involved. Proof here. That's literally what they're doing. Now, it is alleged that one of the Sweet Baby Ink employees, you know, wanted to cancel the, these guys. They they wanted to seek everybody to seek them out. This is the, uh, the co-founder here, Kim Belair. But they wanted to seek these guys out and they wanted to, you know, get rid of them essentially just for pointing out that they work at a game or on a game. Let's take a look at what this is. Um, If you're a creative working in AAA, which I did for many, many years, um, put this stuff up to your higher ups. And if they don't see the value in what you're asking for, when you ask for consultants, when you ask for research, go have a coffee with your marketing team and just terrify them with the possibility of what's going to happen if they don't give you what you want. Okay, so that's in, insane, insane behavior. And that's exactly what is consistent and congruent with marketing people who are DEI involved. If you don't do this, we're gonna, you're going to be labeled as racist, anti-Semitic and everything. Maybe in Suicide Squad, you'll be anti-Shark, anti-John Cena, who knows. But that's insane. And that's why the only, re- the only reason that these people can survive in the workplace is by scaring people into giving them money. And that's what they're trying to do. And people are tired of it. People are tired of people trying to cancel them. People are tired of not being able to talk about certain topics. And we're getting very close to, you know, kicking that stuff out. The employee's name is Chris Kindred. And this is what he allegedly said. And of course, we say allegedly because, you know, in some realm, somebody could have, uh, you know, created this in Photoshop using other tweets that he's made or his Twitter picture. He did not respond to communications either. So these are all alleged, right? It says, report the F out of this group. Report the fuck out of them. It's not just, hey, if you guys don't like what they're doing, leave them a message or send them an email. It's report them. And then it says, report the creator since he loves his account so much. Destroy this guy's, you know, account with all his games on it, which he, you know, he he, he told me because he actually spoke, um, the account owner, that he's got dozens of dozens, if not hundreds of games. I don't remember. And then those would go away because you lose access to them. If you lose access to your steam account, that's the terrible thing about digital products. He said this, uh, this kindred guy who works as a writer for sweet baby Inc. allegedly said the steam curator harassment group, sweet baby Inc. detected is led by this person. Cabrutus Rambo. Here's, them trying to be slick so they don't get reported, even with the discriminatory language filed off. Uh, the group itself still falls, fails the code of conduct. Now, these are really hard to read because the screenshot is not good. It's small and blown up. But it's basically, from what I could get from it, is that there's a bunch of people commenting on these posts is derogatorily, poorly, with cursing and whatnot, and, and whatever might go against the terms of service on steam but steam did actually not ban this guy cabrutus and i talked to him through some messages and he said that his reason was i wanted to find a way to help the gaming community organize itself and be able to make a stand against companies who just want to destroy franchises that we love now that's the what i get from it and this guy was a very smart guy he's brazilian he he wouldn't provide his name uh, I don't know why, but he, he he's like, I'm just a Brazilian named Caprutus. And I like Brazilian people. I, and it does come from me liking MMA. Um, I, I'm used to hearing them talk. I know how they generally are. If you can make a generalization like that, who knows? Um, but I generally like them. So maybe um, I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt there. But this is what it came across to me as. Um, that he is just a guy who is very smart about what he was doing. And he said, I am going to, to let people know, this is my opinion. I'm going to let people know that people are working on this game and they're injecting all this diversity into it. Other people like me would want to know. I would like to know about that stuff. I play video games. I would like to know about that stuff. And he said, how can I do this in a way that is fair? And he probably said, how can I do this in a way that, you know, People, I can't be attacked for it because somebody is going to attack me for it. You, you need to have the foresight in this day and age that if you, you know, 
even so much as do what they're doing, which is just saying, I don't recommend this, that people are going to try to name call you. People are going to try to label you as hateful in some way. So what did he do? He decided literally just write not recommend and then a link to the source that tells you that they worked on the game. That's all he's done. It's very smart of him. You, it, it makes it so that you have to read into any other reasoning yourself. You have to fill in the lines yourself. And, um, you know, he hasn't done anything wrong. Steam contacted him about a high number of reports. And they just said, hey, you have to moderate your board, essentially, the comments. Because I guess people were, you know, making mean comments. Even though, personally, I would just be like, anything goes for the most part, you know. Unless we're being ultimately insane. But I think Steam is a platform should have the position that, you know, almost anything goes. It's different when it's the government and it's free speech, but he said his moderators were working on it. Now, this was a few days ago, but the idea here is that Sweet Baby Inc. has positioned themselves like they don't have anything to do with diversity for the most part, that they're like 85% nothing to do with diversity and 15% is, hey, we just def defer people to other people and make references. That is not true, in my opinion, they seem to be hiding from the sunlight. And this is what seems to happen with the, these diversity-driven things and progressives. They are afraid of their own work, their own opinions being reflected back at them like a vampire. I guess maybe not because they can't see themselves. But they are afraid of hearing their own thoughts, their own work. They don't want to hear their website says that they this is almost everything that they do. To me, it says that. To you, it might be 60%. To me, it sounds like eight, upwards of 85% of what they do is diversity-driven. And they're telling you, hey, that's very little of what we do. And this is what they do. They say, hey, we're not actually doing that. You know, like when people go to school board meetings and they read the books that they want that the teachers want the children to, to read in the classrooms. And they're like, Hey, no, don't read that to us. It's disgusting. And the parent says, Hey, this is what you want six, six to 10 to 13 year olds to read, for example. And we can't read it in an adult setting. That's something, there's something wrong with that. And that's the same thing here. They want to be able to do their work in the shadows. And as we saw, I don't know, that clip could be very well out of context. Let's strike that for the record for the sake of this argument. But, they don't seem to want people to even know that they're working on things. They think it's bad, allegedly, that somebody would point out that they're working on projects because they don't like them. That's where you have a problem. The correct thing to do here is say, yeah, I worked on that. And yeah, I believe it. And I'll defend my point. But they don't do that. They want you to, you know, suffer because this is how they get their money. In my opinion, again, conjecture, hearsay, your honor, none of this can be proved in court. I am not a lawyer. But this is what they want. Shut up. Take it. Play your shitty Suicide Squad game. Play your pride-filled um, <laughs> video game for Spider-Man. And any mods you might do, they're gone. They're mean. They're not inclusive. Turn it up, Jordan.